Rockies hosting the Marlins, and the Marlins are minus 165 on the money line. The Rockies are plus 140, over under 11 runs. The Marlins laying a run and a half on the run line are minus 110, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. And the Rockies getting a run and a half on the run line are also minus 110, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win, they lose by one, you win. Neither one of these pitchers have pitched against the opposing team either last year or this year. The Marlins are 2-7 and seven this season with Alcantara on the mound. He's averaging 5 and 2 thirds innings pitched and 5.4 strikeouts per game in those games. I have a very strong feeling that he's going to end up being like a, a trade deadline or an all-star break kind of uh, trade. And uh, the Rockies are 0-1 as a team with Kaufman on the mound. He's averaging 4 and a third innings pitched and 4 strikeouts per game in those games. Head-to-head, head, the home team has dominated this series. The home team is 9-1. and one. The home team is on a six-game winning streak regardless of who it is. The Rockies are on a two-game winning streak. The Rockies are 6-4 and four against the Marlins in their last 10. The underdog has won the last two games. The favorite is 6-4 and four on the money line, while the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 6-4. and four. There have been three one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The over is 6-4 and four in their last 10, and the under 11.5 runs is 6-4 and four in their last 10 meetings. The games they played this year, both in Colorado, the Rockies have won 5-3 and 5-4. And then the three previous games that were in Miami, the Marlins won every one of those games. Now in their last handful of games overall, the Marlins have dropped their last three. They are 1-3 one and, uh, one and three in their last four, and they are 5-5 five and five in their last ten. One run, 12 runs, 8 runs, 9 runs. One run and a win against the Giants, five runs and a loss against the Giants, and then three runs and four runs against a loss in a loss against the Marlins, uh, against the Rockies, forgive me. The Giants have won their last two games. They are also five and five in their last 10, two and two in their last four. 16 runs, 16 runs, eight runs, nine runs. Five runs and a loss, three runs and a loss against the Rangers, and then back-to-back -back five run victories against the Marlins. Alcantara has not been pitching the way that he has been, or he did last year. I'm rolling with the home team stat here. I would like to pick the Marlins because Alcantara is on the mound, but it hasn't been his season and the home team dominates these series. I'm going to take the Rockies with the money line. I'm going to take the Rockies getting the runs and I'm going over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.